Moy, how much are you looking forward to this game tomorrow? Of course, like everyone else, we looking forward to this game. Uh, obviously, it would be nice if it was uh, other circumstances, you know, with the fans and everything. But uh, it is what it is. But you know, it doesn't take away the the you know how huge the game is. With the players missing from international duty, how are you guys set up for it in terms of the strength of the squad? Of course, I mean, we would love to have everyone available for, for the game, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, we have a big squad, we have a strong um, strength in the, in the squad and good players here, so I'm, I'm sure the ones who's going to uh, play tomorrow are going to do you know, everything for the, for, the, for the team and for the club, so I'm not concerned about that, but obviously we would love to have everyone back. You've spoken already about the fact that there won't be fans there. You didn't play in the last fixture at Celtic Park in December. Do you think there will still be that little bit of intensity because of the fixture that it is? I mean, it doesn't take away, you know, the meaning of the game. Uh, but obviously, uh, you know, the, the emotions and everything that's uh, part of the game is it, not really there. But, I mean, in the end, we know we have everyone behind us and watching the game. So... We, we, we prepare uh, anyway, you know, to, to play as good as possible and, and try to win the game. Well, in, the term of, in terms of the last game, is it something that, you know, the players are looking, in a sense, to get revenge on? Because obviously, we, we were expected to play the next one, but obviously we went into lockdown. So, th th does the, the previous result still fester in the minds of the Celtic players? No. Uh, you know... <laughs> Whatever happens in the past is in the past, you know, we just focus on the next one and the one we have in front of us. So, uh, so it's good to have, you know, uh, today, the training today. Uh, obviously, some of us came, came back yesterday from internationals. So, we had a good session now uh, and, and just focus on what's ahead of us. So, whatever, you know, uh, like, like you mentioned, we didn't play the last game. Uh, that, that doesn't affect us at all. We don't think about it at all. You mentioned the international games there. How, how, how are you in terms of these international games? We've had a lot of managers, you know, talking about the grueling three, three sets of games that, you know, many players have went through. How do you feel in terms of your fitness and your freshness ahead of the weekend? No, fitness wise, I'm, I'm good. Uh, you know, it's been, uh, we played, yeah, 90 minutes on, on, on Wednesday, travel yesterday. So obviously you, you're a little bit tired, but, but in the end, you know, you will have fresh legs tomorrow and, Good recovery today. Uh, I'm going actually in now for, for, a, for a quick massage after this. Uh, so uh, we do everything to be prepared tomorrow and this, it's not going to affect us. Does the, the adrenaline then, you know, sort of carry you through in games like this? Yeah, I mean, like I said, football is uh, emotions and, you know, adrenaline and it's either game, you know, it doesn't matter who we play against. You, you kind of want this uh, part of the game, you know, with the crowds. Uh, so, obviously, if, you know, until it's safe, we would like to have them back as soon as possible. But, I mean, tomorrow, we, it's not, that's not our focus, you know. It's uh, to do what we prepared now to do uh, and try to win the game. Just finally, well, do you think Rangers are a better team than they, this year than they were last year? Sorry again? You think Rangers are a better team this season than they were last season? Um, you know... If, I don't know. Uh, they, they look they look all right. Uh, I haven't, to be honest, I haven't watched any of their games. Uh, but from from you know uh, what what I've seen now, like when we have the now we have the preparation, they look all right. I mean, in the end, we don't we, we just focus on ourselves, what we can do, uh, you know, defensively, offensively. So that's the main focus. Um, what kind of players they have, what what they have been doing so far in the league, that's not of my concern. Do you expect a tighter title race this season than perhaps last season when you were stretching away a little bit before the end? Uh, to be honest, I don't think too much of it. You know, it's still early, and we, as I said earlier, we take one a game at a time. Uh, so uh, to talk about titles is, is too early. Um, there's so many games left, so uh, no, I cannot answer that really.
in terms of the old firm Derby, what, what does it mean to you as a player? How big is it? Uh, I mean, it's uh, as big as it can get. I mean, uh, everyone knows the old firm, you know, one of the you know biggest games in the world. Uh, so, uh, so uh, it is a big game and, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, last time I, I played, uh, I played with a, almost a broken toe and just for four, four or five minutes. Uh, but, I mean, I'm looking forward to it as everyone has. Uh, it's a huge game. Uh, you know, three points, that's all it matters. Oh, yeah, because I was going to say, actually, it must be nice to have the potential to go out and play and, and feel fully fit this time around without having to waddle around. I mean, that, that must have been pretty painful. Yeah, it was a little bit, you know, the frustration afterwards. But, I mean, uh, we won the title then, so it was, it was a huge boost. Uh, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it as, as everyone else, you know. Uh, it's a big game. Everyone knows. Um, so, uh I mean, no, there's a lot of fans going to watch it. We're going to play uh, up to our best, you know, to, to make them happy um, in the end. Yeah, both teams going to come out and, you know, do everything to, to win the game. Is the pressure all on Rangers for this one, do you think? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, we, we, we just focus on ourselves, what we're going to do, uh, what we can provide and, you know, to get to you know, to to have a top performance, uh, so uh, whoever is you know favorite or pressure doesn't really matter. Um, you know, and like I said, we just focus on ourselves. Both teams are very consistent so far this season. So do you think these meetings this season will mean more in terms of trying to to set a marker over the other team? Yeah, it could be. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's still early, but obviously uh, this game means a lot for, for I mean, both clubs and fans, uh, obviously. So, so uh, of course, you want to set a market. You want to go out you know, and, and uh, have a good game and good performance and uh, have a win. Uh, so that, that will help you know, throughout the season. But there's so many games left and, you know, uh, and, and every game is as important as, as, you know, as the one in front of us now as well. Can I ask you more just quickly about um, Diego Laxal, how you found uh, he's settled in and could that be a formidable partnership up the left-hand side with, with you and him? Is that something you, you're excited by? Yeah, it would be interesting. Uh, so, so, as I told you earlier, I, I, this was my first training uh, since I came back from international. So, uh, so I just got to see him meet him and see him now uh, so uh, we, we will have a you know uh, a chat uh, later on to you know uh, obviously I don't know so much about him uh, obviously that he played you know for AS Milan and he was you know playing in the in the World Cup for Uruguay uh, so uh, and you know he doesn't know me either probably as a player so we will have a chat you know to to get that understanding that you know uh, I have I had with Greg Taylor as well. So, um, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm looking forward to see him. Uh, what I heard from the boys, he looks sharp in training and he's fit and ready for the game. Well, just, uh, just on that, you've, you've talked about the left-hand side connection there, but you've started up front in the two, in the three-five-two system in the last few games. You've scored a few goals. How are you finding it up there? And do you think that can bring the best out of you? <clears throat> Yeah, I enjoy it. You know, I, I still have the uh, the freedom that I had as well when I played out wide. You know, I like to come in between the lines. You know, uh, but I think obviously as a striker, you're even closer to goal. Uh, I like to be in front of the box. You know, uh, and get a finish off. Uh, so I mean, I enjoyed it so far, uh, and hopefully, you know, play tomorrow and get some minutes tomorrow as well, and hopefully create chances. You know, in the end, it just doesn't matter. Uh, what I play, I, I play where, uh, wherever the manager wants me to, and it doesn't matter. For me, it's still the same. I'm here to create chances for, for, for my teammates and try to score goals and win the games. Mo, in the international games, you lost to Serbia, and of course, they now play Scotland. Um, given that you know Scottish football and you've, you've played against Serbia, where do you think... Do you think it's a winnable game now for Scotland or how tough do you think it will be? Uh, 
I think, uh, well, I think Scotland may have a chance. Uh, they will play away. Uh, Serbia, they're probably, you know, they're, they're a strong team. Uh, they, they were really, they're looking, they were looked good against us, really sharp. They had a lot of chances they could, you know, easily score more. Uh, so we, we had a bad day uh, from our side. We were not our best um, game. But I think, you know, it, it's a game of 90 minutes and everything can happen. And, and, from what, from what I saw, Scotland looks really strong uh, defensively. You know, they haven't conceded a lot of goals and, 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 you know, they have a few players up front that can cause them a problem. So, you know, in a final, everything can happen. So, um, I don't think uh, Serbia will get an easy game.